Hey, you know what? There are a lot of talented and great people here in the Bay Area. But today for National Suicide Prevention Month, I want to introduce you guys to one lady. Her name is Sharon, and she uses her own life experiences to help others today. Because I was 21, I grew up in recovery, which means I have a, a design for life, a design for living. And I brought that design for life into my business world. I've been running um, medical offices and consulting for doctors for over 20 years. You were telling me about, you know, how doctors, when they graduate, like they have no business experience, and that's where you come yeah. in. They're taught how to save our lives, which is actually what we want. So business isn't taught in medical school, and I don't think they should go full on like MBA to get their business degree, but I do think that learning about how to navigate through business is super important. Because when I go into any business today, and I want to help them grow, or keep employees for a long time, I talk to the staff. And what I learned in recovery is community and support and being kind to each other. Before I released this book in 2019, like here I was sober all these years and survived so much and I had all of these resources that I could offer to people. Just applying all of these um, abilities to be able to communicate with others in the workplace really makes a difference and really makes people feel safe. And what do we want most today in the workplace but to feel safe? You know, the EAP uh, counselor, which is Employee Assistance Program, actually was the one who saved my life. He asked me one question. He was my father's EAP counselor. He asked me if um, I was having suicidal thoughts. I was 21 years old. I was. He asked me that question as my father's EAP counselor in his business that saved my life. Just like it was for me, being able to say, I do want to kill myself, which was 21 years ago, that at that point, I got the help that I needed. So when somebody hears me be vulnerable, they're in a safe space so they can share how they are feeling and what they're going through.